What's up guys? It's your boy Quick Stocks. As always, remember to hit those thumbs to recharge my dopamine and we will get right into your Quick Stock analysis some Trimble, ticker symbol TRMB, trading for $50.75 as of August 21st, 2020 equating to a market cap of $12.7 billion and a P.E. of under 26 and a half. So what's the move? Are we going to reap what we sow or put Trimble out to pasture? This is your quick stock analysis. Trimble is a California-based software as a service technology company. Trimble services global industries in agriculture, building and construction, geospatial, natural resources and utilities, government and transportation. And really, that just scratches the surface. We have to note the nearly non-existent level of hype surrounding Trimble. As of August 21st, 2020, if you type Trimble stock analysis into YouTube, the third result is actually your quick stock analysis of one of Trimble's competitors, Ag Eagle which we appreciate the plug YouTube, although it isn't exactly relevant. Even more bizarre, looking at these results, you won't find a single video informing you about Trimble stock. In the 70-something quick stock analyses here on YouTube, this is the first time seeing a complete absence of information or hype on a company. And an investor should take this into consideration. Hype alone has a lot to do with a company's awareness, which in turn encourages investors to take stake in a company. Granted, most money comes from large institutions. It's interesting nonetheless. It only feels right to start with the company's agricultural side of the business. After all, shameless plug, earlier this week we took a deep dive into one of their much smaller competitors, Ag Eagle. Like we noted in our Ag Eagle analysis, it's hard to even call them competitors, as Trimble is leaps and bounds ahead of them. Once again, we are talking AI boys, and of course by that I mean agricultural intelligence. Trimble has global ambitions to completely change agricultural farming from the ground up. We all know autonomous farming is the future. At harvest, any given field has a maximum yield, and a farmer's job each and every day is to manage the amount of yield loss for each crop. In other words, if you have a low yield loss, you will have much more product, which equates to a higher ROI. So the earlier a farmer can identify a potential problem, the faster it can be addressed. Using Trimble technology, this information can be fed into smart farm equipment, which can automatically apply herbicides, pesticides, and nutrients precisely where they are needed, once again making another massive catalyst for the company. After all, 50% of fertilizer and 90% of pesticides miss their target, and 12-20% to of crop yields are lost due to inadequate fertilizer application. This is detrimental from both an environmental standpoint as well as a cost-based standpoint. Excess salt-based nutrients wash into bodies of water and wreak havoc. Pesticides eliminate entire species. And with a growing global population, we really can't afford such staggering crop losses. And any efficiencies added to this model is certainly beneficial. And in a number of ways, Trimble is leading the way in this revolution. Their NAV 900 Guidance Controller is designed to mount to the roof of most agricultural vehicles to provide position and guidance, including auto steer. Yeah, that's right, boys, autonomous tractors. In the future, having farm equipment that can autonomously work around the clock is an absolute game changer. And they have smart weed seekers that a farmer connects to the bottom of a tractor. And when a weed passes underneath the sensor, it signals to precisely deliver herbicides and kill the weed, reducing the amount of chemicals applied by up to 90%. Along with this, they also have displays that can tackle nearly all of a farmer's needs, including mapping, record keeping for every season across all of the farmer's equipment, tons of management functions. And this only scratches the surface. Just look at all of the unique products the company offers from... Drainage, advanced mapping, landforming, irrigation, range of satellite or cellular device connected services, premium weather, time tracker, soil information systems. Whew. And this just tickles the surface. And what's crazy is all these products link together to create the ultimate autonomous, eco-friendly, precision farming experience. Granted, taking note of the bear case, it's going to take time to adapt busy farmers to this new way of life. A lot of farmers are generational farmers who have passed the knowledge down from generation to generation. This is a completely new way to look at agriculture, and it's going to take time. But it can't be overstated, Trimble really is revolutionizing this trillion dollar market. Next, let's take a look at Trimble's construction segment. 
The company states their mix of hardware, software, and mobility technology streamlines communications and collaboration through the construction life cycle. From planning, design, and site preparation through to the finished products. Along with tackling time, cost, materials, staff, and resources, they help build smarter, more accurate, more profitable projects. This is important to note for contractors. The stakes are high. Deadlines must be met and budgets kept. Multiple work locations, specific contract requirements, architects, subcontractors, suppliers, and crews to communicate and collaborate with. If even one job is poorly handled, it can put a contractor's reputation and prospects for future work in jeopardy. Take it as a grain of salt. As we found these stats while reading through the company's Buyer's Guide ebook, one could certainly overstate a product's capability, and this probably assumes consumers are using Trimble's software to the fullest capability, but typically this will not be the case. However, the company states most contractors found a 50% reduction in time spent tracking invoices, billing processes, and material tracking, a 75% drop in print and mail costs, a 40% reduction in time managing change orders, a 30% reduction in a project's delays, a 3% increase in top line revenue, and a 0.75% increase in gross margins which may not sound like a lot, but a 3% increase in top line revenue and a 0.75% increase in gross margins, along with having a more organized work environment, is a massive catalyst for business owners. Along with this, they have their smart building life cycle that they claim is going to change the way structures are built. How would you create a world with no boundaries? Would you design structures that defy gravity? Would you design software that lets you visualize the future? Link in the description if you want to see more. They have some pretty cool stuff. However, as with farmers, contractors have significantly underinvested in technology, which sadly plays a significant part in hindering the construction industry's productivity growth and overall product waste. The thing is, changing software can be a significant investment in time and resources. Employees have to be retrained, and as the average age of construction workers increase, it's hard to say how many may have the toolkit to relearn. As with farming, this is going to be a gradual change in which we are still in the early stages of. Anyways, of course that's not it boys. Trimble also has massive exposure into the surveying and mapping market. In large projects where you need to cover a lot of ground, or on projects which have mountain shadows or obstructions in the way, this is where Trimble's tech shines, as it requires less resources, such as field crews and equipment. With Trimble's equipment, you can look at the sky and hit a large, hard to cover area in a day or two, with better accuracy compared to what would have taken a week or two with standard surveying equipment. Overall, it makes the entire surveying profession more professional for clients. In a market that has a value of nearly $40 billion, that's a huge catalyst for the company. Here's a quick clip of Trimble's RTX. Trimble RTX models the errors in your GNSS solution using Trimble's Global Reference Station Network, transmitting correction data via satellite to users worldwide, providing far greater accuracy and reliability than freely available services or any other paid satellite-delivered correction service. Plus, there's absolutely no need for a base station. As always, link in the description if you want a better understanding of how it works. Remember, I'm brushing over these segments extremely quickly. Trimble's umbrella extends far and wide. They also have a transportation segment, which is primarily used for large trucking fleets. Low-key for that reason alone, I'm blown away they haven't gotten at least a little hype here in the YouTube community. And yes, they have a massive addressable market, but it's not like you are thinking. They aren't making big rigs like Nikola and Hylion. They are going after the practical data and tracking side, including their telematic segment which keeps track of travel paths and traffic in a specified time and radius. Some of their other tech in their transportation segment doesn't seem as exciting. Once again, I'll leave some links in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. Okay, we get it. Trimble has some cool tech in a massive marketplace, but what's stopping a much larger company from mimicking Trimble's business model? Well, quite a few things, including manufacturers, contracts, brands, etc. But what I'm leading into is, as an investor, you can be reassured as Trimble holds a long list of patents. And in total, the company holds hundreds of patents. Once again, link in the description. 
This is slightly off topic, but I got a note after spending the last, I don't know, three or so days binging Trimble's collection of videos, I got a note. I am really impressed with the company's presentation. Here at Quick Stocks, making a proper analysis involves a ton of mindless digging. And to be real, a lot of media or advertising we see from these smaller companies tends to be a uh, disappointment. Such as Egg Eagle, Hylion, Fastly, Genius Brands, Workhorse, Zynga, Plug, just to name some recent ones. Now that half of you have disliked the video, I'm not throwing shade at the companies. But the videos and advertisements made directly by those companies are pretty bad, especially when compared to Trimble. They have a ton of these quality videos showing off their products in a sleek and presentable way. It's crazy that no one is watching these videos. They have separate channels for each field they operate in, such as geospatial, agriculture, building, and the official Trimble page. It just blows my mind. Companies like Egg Eagle, Hylion, Nikola have infinitely more hype surrounding them in the fast-growing future green technology space. Like we said, when in Trimble's case, if you search Trimble stock here on YouTube, there isn't a single video talking about the company's stock. No old man Kramer, CNN, CNBC, no random YouTube influencer. It blows my mind. But anyways, I'm getting off topic again. This is already getting to be a long video. Let's quickly take a look at Trimble's finances. Regarding their financials, all things considered, you would expect to see the company to have taken a hit as a result of the global pandemic. And here's a few clips from Q2 2020 earnings last week. And the strength of our financial model enabled us to outperform our own expectations in the second quarter. ARR at $1.21 billion, adjusted EBITDA margins at 25.7%, and deferred revenue at $531 million were clear highlights. Our shift to a more hardware-connected, software-centric, and recurring revenue business model is paying off. While short-term market uncertainty remains high, our long-term market conviction remains strong. We see green shoots in many of our markets, and we believe the second quarter will mark the bottom of our revenue decline. Nevertheless, Uncertainty prevails, and we do not believe it would be prudent to provide guidance for the balance of the year. So to quickly summarize, Q2 2020 revenue was $735 million, down 14%. Free cash flow was $135 million, after paying off $140 million in debt during the quarter. They have $1.2 billion in available credit and approximately $200 million in cash. Their next debt isn't due until 2022, stating they are open for acquisitions and may consider a share buyback. Recurring revenues made up 39% of Trimble's revenue. However, they saw a meaningful revenue decline in transportation, non-recurring revenues, hardware, software, and professional service, as one can imagine would be the case amidst a global pandemic. However, the company still managed to see a 10% or more growth in Viewpoint, eBuilder, building construction software, and position services. So with all of this in mind, what's our move? As always, remember, we are not a financial advisor. Please do not buy a stock just because you see it bought in here on Quake Stocks. And with all of that in mind, well boys, we started a position in Trimble, picking up a total of 187 shares equating to just shy of a $10,000 position. And this is going to be a decade-long hold if the company can continue its current trajectory. Realistically, not only does this look like one of the few companies not overvalued in our current market. Granted, if the market volatility were to come back, Trimble shareholders would be affected, in which case, we would love to pick up more shares for the sub-$40 range. Here's some of your quick stock philosophy. Many companies we research here at Quick Stocks don't make you feel like you're contributing to something bigger or benefiting some cause. When buying shares of Alibaba, Walmart, Exxon, Facebook, big banks, and so on, one typically becomes a shareholder because of their financials or future growth. However, there's something to be said about investing into a company that aligns with your morals. This rationale is one of the reasons Tesla blew up. Sure, Elon is a legend. He's changing the game, and he could sell ice to a penguin. But more importantly, a lot of people resonate with his work. You can say whatever you want about his products, but at the end of the day, he is contributing to the greater good in his own crazy way, and people want to be a part of it. And Trimble is trying to make the world a better place in many ways, including the much-needed agricultural space. Everything in our ecosystem is connected, and modern agriculture is just so inefficient. It's wreaking havoc on this balance. Considering the flooding causing food shortages in China, and the crazy winds in Idaho taking out massive portions of crops in the Midwest, and the ever-growing demands needed as the global population increases, we can't control Mother Nature. 
However, as humans, we need to try to max our production in the most environmentally friendly way, and in many ways, Trimble is leading the way in this. But pump the brakes. You thought we were done, but you know that's not how we do it here at Quick Stocks. It's important to understand both sides of Trimble. With that in mind, here's your Quick Trimble bear case. Trimble expects revenue to be down year over year for the remaining 2020, meaning it could be a while before we see this beast take off. Trimble expects revenue to be down year over year for the remainder of 2020, meaning it could be a while before we see this beast take off. Along with this, at over $50 a share, the company is already trading at all-time highs during a global pandemic. And they could be spreading themselves too thin by being in so many different segments, similar to what General Electric did. And it's going to take a lot of time for consumers to adapt to their technology. But overall, I do think Trimble is a great company and expect many more videos about the company in the future because someone has to give the company some love. But anyways, guys, that's all we've got for today. As always, the best investment you can make is to go long on Quick Stocks. Hit that subscribe button now at 1,300 subscribers and plan an early retirement. I will catch you guys in the next one.